This is the start of the song. It's him. What's that? It's him. Yo, 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 welcome back. <laughs> What's it? Right, it's your big boy, Simo you Sim Kar Sim Bappe. <laughs> oh, I'm back with the band. Oh, okay, okay. What's happening? What's the crack? It's How Big you, Sim Dog. I'm Monkfish. How are we all getting on? I hope you're all well. We're just here now with the boys. How are we getting boys. on, boys? Oh, this is the boys there. only episode That's with our big boy. Like, you had viewers on it? We had viewers on before. Did you? We, we did. Yeah, we had a few. We did, yeah. Did we actually? Yeah, at the yeah. very start. Fuck. We haven't had one on Only the, world, the OGs would remember that. We haven't had one on in a while, but we're close to one now. Nevo, today, anyway. if when you're watching. You the first Nevo, if you're watching, I'm telling you, come on now. No. <laughs> Nevo, for <laughs> sure. Look, let's start off with her, yeah? <laughs> what her? <laughs> no, back, out on your head. Nevo, if you're watching, come on then. Nevo's <laughs> <laughs> out. <laughs> this. Oh, stop telling me like that. And if you want me to pay for your own, a month. But I have four houses, so. Mm. That's true, yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. Look, but you look, don't mind that. Four roofs. Imagine you're asleep, and you're like, when you're asleep, oh, thank God, I have four roofs over my head. <laughs> no, you've won. It's a wish. <laughs> you won't be. Re- you won't be. Oh, I'm not gonna have four roofs over my head. Man. What's going on? It's only. But well, when you're start. asleep, no, honestly, when you're asleep, hey, you don't mind that. <laughs> it's only just starting. What? What's going on? Are we starting already? Oh fuck! So obviously, I'm going too lively. Well, here, anyways. Let me start with Simo. Oh, yeah. Right. Simo, Relax. how was the start of your week? All oh, right. So my week started on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already bored, like. I'm already falling asleep. Now, here's, right, go on, go on, now, here's how, the, how the phrase about it, yeah? How was your week, start your week, and how do you want it to finish? Jeez. We want to finish with two blowjobs on the dicky. Are we getting serious here now? Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> so the start of the week, what do you want? Start the week, you want a breakfast show on the Monday. No, you want to wake up with no hangover for starters. That's a perfect start. That week, is a now. perfect start to a right, start so of a good week. And now fresh head is great. The fresh head, yeah. Now fresh now head, you can't brush bathe the, it. You brush the teeth and wash the and face. Now, I'm up half six every morning anyway, boys. What are you doing? What? Yeah, half six every morning. I'm, up, no matter what. I'm like, oh, oh yes, I get to wake up I again and smoke another dog. D- dog <laughs> the dog wakes me up, yeah, yeah, but just even getting the daughter up for school, I like being an hour up before getting the... Break, getting the lunches yeah. done, organise everything, so no one thinks I'm pure disappointment. Like, do you get the, really, like, do you get <laughs> the tea <laughs> on? Do you? Oh, everything on. Yeah, the kettle's a while. The kettle's a while for the mother to wake up. And just everything done, and just you're to give out about. You're a decent MC. You're a decent man as well. Oh, boys, that's a good. That's a good poll. Hey, a tea or a coffee man though. He was that in ten years? Oh, coffee man, no. Oh, Jesus, I was wrong. Oh, and I, when I moved to Australia, I started drinking coffee, and I was like, this is like cocaine. Who is that? I'm pure awake again. <laughs> oh my goodness. And then I was like, Wait, are these legal everyday life? Why are we on the cocaine? Insane. Insane in the membrane and the cocaine. Two deer in Australia is like 300 for a gram, so it's like, <laughs> wasn't as much. We're on the bing bang boonies back then, you know what I mean? We're on the getting nothing off thems. So back we in the day in Australia, what you do, emigre? So, right. Yeah, so I was moved to Turles when I was, say, 18. Okay. Why are you <laughs> from where? Yeah. From England. So, I, okay, I moved to England. Are you English born? Could you play for England? No, boys, listen to me now. Do you want a slap? I'll give you a slap. <laughs> go, 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 right, go. Yeah. So, I was born in Newbridge. Come to Kildare Lily White. Newbridge, Silverware. One there, dirty boy. I moved to England when I was seven to a place called Luton. Luton Town. Luton Town, boys, Mad Hatters, the Hatters. <laughs> and then lived there till I was just nearly 18. Then moved to Temple Moor. Fucking half, half English lad going around in a French Connection t shirt. Yeah, and did, and you have this, <laughs> did you have the twang about you? Were you talking English now? Yeah, I was like, oh, right, mate, I do you know, it's a football team around here. Who the fuck are you? Are you? Who is this lad here? Oh huh? my god. But no, it's tough for a 17 to 18 year old. I was going out with the one as well and I had to break up with her. Broken back. 
Was he your first love? She was my first love. Was she? And I and I from and Taurus. I gave him a Rebecca in the back of me moped from McDonald's to KFC by the stairs of days. Oh, the McDonald's now spicy chicken nuggets and they're tasty. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're stored to that, then McDonald's nugget spicy. And what then? Yeah. Right. So you moved over here. You got your first love. You're heartbroken. Mm. Ah, there's one more. Then. Heartbroken. So football was always the way for me. Like I said, that's how I always made friends, just playing football. Like always, football, football, football. And so I didn't do a leave and start ratting, so I couldn't go to college. Couldn't go to nothing. So I was like 18 years of age in the middle of Temple Moor. The four, the, me and the brother and the mother and father were all sleeping in the same room. <laughs> with no electricity, we after that, and living in one bedroom cottage, and me whole life's gone. But you love the football. I put the football. You can't the football, can you? Yeah, so football. And then I, everyone was like, oh, this lad's class. So I started... Do we, what happened was uh, I think you actually had a baller though is that yeah we know that we started that. the match uh, man of the match in the old hardly man of the match boys was I he was yeah he was he was man the match well, I take it boys thanks appreciate it because I love I just love even when I was with all them tiktokers I was like these lads trying to do skills in tiktok I actually want to break your, <laughs> their legs as well <laughs> but that's the football coming out and you're like don't make a mockery this game before I bush you that's the that's the way so Glenn yeah. Cronin was wasn't you it? Look, you love football Glenn, that much I do. Who would you support? Now, lads, it's coming out now. This is the truth, right? I support Man United as a young lad, right? Up the vice. Right? As any Irish lad does. As just, a young lad, I don't like Just to that. be... No, because just to be friends with everyone else. You either support Liverpool or Man United. Do you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> everyone's like, my granddad supporting Man United and then his granddad supporting Man United. So then the, his, I saw a red jersey in the wardrobe there and then I picked up the red jersey and then my, I felt it on me and I felt lovely and so now I'm a Man United <laughs> fan forever what and ever and ever. What And you've never been to United match. How many United games have you been to? One. Oh, you fucking no, showed I've up your ass. How many have you been to? Oh, I've been to like hundreds of Premier Yeah, well, you got to live over there, so it's easier for you. Yeah. But I think it's funny that people, even your man down the pub there, he's like, if Milner's playing, I'm going to fucking fire the phone off the wall and all this sort of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck yeah. Shout out to Rooney. That's Hello, right. Rooney. Shout out to Rooney. Do you know what? He's actually... Dear lad, Milner's playing tonight and I'm going to fucking beat the lad up. <laughs> Call me on TikTok. I'm sorry, I'm going match actually. We'll know if he's smashing the pub up or not. Tell him to come down. He's right, lad. <laughs> yeah, but... I have a little segment down here that we're talking about football. Right, go on, hit us with it. Ooh. Right, so it's called <coughs> Start One, Bench One, Sell One. Oh, I like this. Fuck Mary Kill, basically. Oh, I like this. Say, say it again, the start of it. So, Start One, Bench One. Start One, Bench One, Sell, sell one. one. If you don't agree with me, I'm going to be thick. Are you ready? So. so, we go back with old ballers that were there. Yeah, boy, I'm, back, all eh? about, I'm all about right, Drogba, yeah. Aguero, and Thierry Henry. Boy to... one, well, start one, bench one, sell one. Oh, that's where we're all. I have to have Drogba and Henri up front. I don't know. It's just. I mean, you can't have all of them in one. That's night. what I'm saying. Drogba and Henri. So, I just love Drogba. Because he's just. I love. That free that. kick. His free kick with <clears> the side foot. And I don't like Henri like, for the handball. What, I don't, at the same time, I hate these sort of questions. Who's better, Messi or Ronaldo? Like, because. At the end of the day, like, there's no debate in them questions because they're all class. Like, you can debate. Right. Yeah, better. but you can have an opinion. Yeah, but the opinions about that is stupid because they're all class. Right, then no offence. No. Who do you pick, though? I if you had to. If I had to pick, I'd have to, uh, Henry. I have to pick Henry. Start Henry. Mm. I've been struggy. And then sell Aguero. Yeah, I'd have to, man. Once. I like Aguero, though. I do like him, though. Did you start rugby? Mm. Yeah, I'd probably go on the same list. No, I started on Rio. How do I have another no, one? I'd start Drogba, bench on Ray, and sell Aguero. Oh, yeah, that's bench. the same thing, nearly. But can bench on Ray because he handballed against Terry. Him. No, I suppose that too. Yeah. John Terry, Vincent Company, or Rio Ferdinand. Rio has always been, he changed the game in England defending for me. He was the ro- first ever Rolls Royce in the Premier League. Isn't he? So he's number one for me, always been number one. Company's gone. Good luck to him, sell him, and bench Terry. There you go, monks. I would start Rio, bench company, sell Terry. What? He rode Bridges Bureau, that's why. You get too deep. You get too deep, man. He does, he's getting deep. I like company because he has a weird head. And plus he missed the penalty. He looked like the rock, remember that? Oh, stop. It's like a handball on his forehead. He looked like if you were to find a lollipop under your bed after a few weeks. And there's just a little bit stuck to the top of it. What? Here's the biggest one of them all. 
Skulls, Gerard Lampard. Oh God. Start on bench on sell one. So, uh, in terms of ability of lads who just are just literally, this man was designed for the game of football. Of I have mine. Never been tackled. Don't need to header. Just literally control the whole game because this is the way football is supposed to be played. So skulls, he's just half blind. OG. He's like half blind ginger Pirlo. So he's he just has to he's and like all the fucking leagues he's won and then came back and won it again. That's like fucking he's Brock Lesnar in WWE. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Come back and draw and fucking win it again. Yeah, them lads are class. Wait, so uh, what's the list? Skulls first. Skulls, skulls first, and I'd sell Lampard. Because and you keep Gerard. Oh, Gerard has to man, he's one of the OGs too, man. He the him and Skulls here are probably my two all time favourite centre mids. But Lampard i I'd rather Lampard and Gerard Lampard gets you goals from anywhere. Yeah, but he was playing in a team with poor loads of ball imagine Jimmy Triore, fucking Gregory Vignal and all these sackos and all these lads around you. Crespo. Yeah. Remember that? And then Gerard just banging in volleys from thirty and forty yards against West Ham and Olympiacus. Oh, and Martin Tyler can just predict it. It's like I'm gonna say Gerard at this exact time. It's going to go in there. It's going to have it. <laughs> Gerard against West Who Ham. Skulls, Lampard, Gerard. What? Start, Start skulls, skulls, bench, bench. lamps, and sell Gerard. Can't sell Gerard. Like. Oh, it start. Yeah, oh, it start skulls, bench Gerard, sell. Yeah, yeah same as me. Lampard. Yeah. Ah, uh, because lamps is just a goal machine, though. He's no flair about him. No, goal, uh, goals win games boys yeah you're all about the goals bro I'm all about the art you big sharty food and then this one the attacking speeds yeah let's go Rashford Mane Sane Rashford's gone anyway straight away Mane so Rashford Sane. Sane and Mane you're our first Rashford starter as in Rashford starts for you over Rashford, Mane yeah come on with you Oid, Oid starts and I bench Mane sell Rashford Mane is a G what's wrong with Mane why do you not like Mane Sane is better than Mane no he's not 100% that's pure mad are you man yeah. Rashford first because he feeds all the kids <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he's like even, the even lunch dinners with everybody that fella's is like the fucking Bernardo it's against Liverpool I'd start Rashford you obviously take teams into consideration so yeah you're biased yeah, yeah. I just and, think and where they're playing football. all and what, what time that flight is because <laughs> they could be tired Tired from what? It's flying. It's flying. Oh, Jesus. Jet lag. They're not going to score a penalty. Jet slags. What about this one? Jet slits. Last one. Right, last one. Oh, proper. Oh, po- another football question. Po- number nines. Ready? Right. Halland. He's too young still, though. Halland, uh, Kane, and Bappy. Oh, that is a good question. There you go. I'm starting on Bappy. Because I like ability and I just like flary out lads. But I just, there's something about Kane. I just like, he's like Michael Carrick. He just makes it look so easy. There's one of them lads who like barely runs around. He's, oh, has he got pace? He's what is he? Scoring goals. And he's just banging in. Like John O'Shea, passes. not making fucking fair. And got Figo. It's actually a fact. One of the hardest talents in the world is to strike the ball perfectly. And he has it down to a T. Like Trent and him, just every time. And De Bruyne, when you hit a ball, they hit the ball. It's lovely, Sweet. isn't it? So I'd say. We'll go away and bap it first. We'll go Kane second and sell Haaland. Fucking sell Haaland. He's too young now. He's he's not even integrated to be brain yet. He scored a couple of goals. Oh, he's coming up maybe in a few years. It's the presence though. He's so presence even when he jumped so up for good. the tap in, it was like nearly at the fucking He's a beast. He is a beast. He's so Who would you go with Minx? Well, Minxy. Well, start on Bappe, bench Haaland. So Ali. Do you know what I probably would actually have Simbappe be up front for me all day every day oh my god because it's like something involved with my name so I have to keep going with it all the time I, I have <laughs> to like go you were saying you have to go into the, you go into the bookies yeah. when you're betting on the name yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so you got some weird things so rather than looking at the farm what this lad fucking jumped in fell at the last one his last seven races yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah. But there's fucking something called MC <laughs> <laughs> Days and Rocks oh yeah let's stick he's that after off. he's out from your fed horse yeah, even go faster hoops <laughs> But this, you're a this now, fella. Here, tell us all about the time you're on fucking Ireland's Got Talent. Oh, jeez. Rem- right, so, remind the cunts. So I started making videos for, I've been making videos for years. So then the time, I was like, oh, because I was making no money off it. I was videos going via left, right and centre, but I was like, making not even a penny off anything, man. And then I was like, so I started barbering because I hated plumbing. 
Done that for eight years. Started barbering. You up the plumbers. And then I was only in the barbershop about a month. They were like, the, I got this phone call. I was like, oh, is, oh this is from Ireland's Got Talent, blah, blah, blah. Because I signed up for some yoke for auditions for things. We saw your videos. You want We want you to audition on the live show. For Ireland's Got Talent, you're like, you're straight Just in. Straight in. Straight in. Oh, my so God. So I wasn't even like, oh, I have to audition, blah, 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 beforehand. So they literally said, you're more or less straight in if... Do as, sort of do as we say, we're going to give you the tune, like the Eminem one, and just rap over it and blah, blah, blah. Sure. At this time, I was gotten fucking nuts, man. I was gone crazy. Started barbering, and after three months of barbering, I was like, fuck, I open up my own barber shop because I was coming off the dole, and they were giving you like 150 euros a week to open okay, up your man. own place. No and the rent was 150 a week. So in my brain, I was like, oh, even if I'm drinking in town, I can sleep in the shop. You know, this sort of mentality. like, And then, so, and the... The shop is right next to a pub, like right next door to a place called Lark Horowitz Coppingers. And should we always been drinking in there for years, Monday Club. Sure, that town, you're just drinking, drinking, drinking. <laughs> One of my friends, Darren, he's come knocking on the window saying, bah, 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 like go for a pint. Yeah. Be on a Tuesday, I'll be putting the sign up saying, go for lunch for 15 minutes, I won't come back till the Saturday. Like, <laughs> do a few haircuts on the Saturday for the boys in the pub. We're like, go on, Lizzie, we're give us another trim there, give me a tenner. <laughs> And I'd be down to be last time, like, go on, so go next door and fucking lads be putting hair on top of your heads, getting rashes, pure fucking oh, locked to the inside the shop. Scandalous behavior. And then they rang me, I was like, go on, do this and try pull myself together. And then, like, the day before the audition, for the, on the stage in front of the judges, like, that was my first. I didn't do any, any act or any, like, say, oh, what way is he going to perform or any trial run or not? There's literally. This day you're going to stay in front of Louis Walsh and all this and this is what I have to do and I was like That's oh, madness fuck. isn't it? Yeah, man. So the pub was right next to the hotel I was staying in and I was like oh we go for a few drinks me and the girl I was with at the time and I was just drinking like 6 in the morning and then like the alarm was going You were session on the and night she's before. like you have to go to your audition I was like there's no way I'm fucking going to this arrive on and because I could just pull off MC Dace into a tea no one knows when he's drunk whether he's this or he's that because no one approached me well what's the story where do I have to yeah. go do you know this yeah. pull off and complete well where's it down here is it is Louis Walsh here <laughs> don't get off the boy where is he I'm gonna say, Denise Van Houten if she comes near me I'm gonna shift the brains over <laughs> so like putting on this act really inside I'm like oh my god fucking kill me <laughs> and I was like and it was in I, I can't remember the name of the place where the audition was on he's like split the film split yeah, with all of it. Split. I was like, is there, is there a bar here? Is this Patricia? You know, like, oh, there's a little thing downstairs. There's a bar downstairs. And I was going downstairs getting bottles of Luke's Aid and putting drink into Luke's Aid. Drinking Luke's Aid. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, Wayne McCulloch comes up, one of the most famous writers boxes of all time. Do you know Wayne McCulloch? No. Oh, lads. One of the most famous boxes of all time. And I was like, I recognise you from somewhere. Like he was a boxer, but I think it was around the 90s. Where I think he was world champ. Like he's Irish as well. And he was there and he showed me all this and all that. And I was like, is this actually happening? Because his daughter, she's from America, she was auditioning as well. And she's a fucking serious singer. What's she singer? To, shout out to Boy Mac. Shout out to the Mac. She's over in America. Shout out to Boy Mac. Boy Mac, bring me over to America. Mac, I'm going to sing the national bring anthem with you. He'll sing that song with you. Oh yeah, so then I was going on doing the audition and they're like, oh, brilliant. This is, uh, <laughs> and I was like, what? And what like, did you sing? What did you sing? So they give me a do an Eminem backing track because that's what they got the license for. So I said, oh, can I do Caravan Man? So the song I have, I run around on a horse. No energy waste, no diesel. We race to me, don't get caught. Illegal. Tell the truth, the cops love me. Yep. I bribe them, give them my plasma for free. Never arrested, bare knuckle boxer, tried and tested. Never bet on MC Days and the Caravan Man on MC Days. And they're like, you can't sing that. We've a traveler on the show, so you can't mention caravans. Oh, and and your one on it, um, Sharon, I think it was Sharon Ward was her name. Unbelievable singer. She was like, MC Nelson, you're like one of the best people around the place and we love your videos and all this. Oh, we shout out to my Michael Anthony. And the, uh, so we shout, <laughs> shout, shout out, out to all Michael the boys. Anthony. Hope you're doing well, Michael Anthony. Oh, and, oh legends, man. I love all of them. Miss Elvisage. Miss Elvisage. See, they don't even mingle with you like. They're just sitting in their little, it was like they had COVID already and you weren't just allowed to go around them. <laughs> They like to predict that right? all these fucking acts of COVID, we can't go near them. We literally, literally tell them that they're shit and they're not allowed to come back. That was old it. COVID. And then they, that? Came out, they came out to the house and everything. I remember all the camera crew came out to the house and I was showing the session the night before. I was oh, like, we're man. arriving on your house here now. Is the car been ready for shooting? And all this stuff. Is your brother's car? And this one's still here ready to be brought out. And I was just like, what the fuck? It's something about my life that like, if I feel something was coming 
good I'd self-sabotage it or something because I feel like if I messed it up if I wasn't fucked then I just hate myself does that make sense yeah self-sabotage just self-sabotage just pure self-destruction like oh you're going on this TV show blah blah anxiety you just eat me up that oh at least I have an excuse if that I'm you fucked. need a drink yeah or the, drink, the drink will get in your blood boys in your veins and catch howl you because it gets it rid of such much angst yeah. it happens, it happens to the best of people yeah. even with footballers yeah the drink gets them and then they're no good no more they're stuck to the bottle yeah they're staying at home sipping from the bottle because it, like weed as well like I love weed I love drinking it gives you such an instant sort of high that it's hard to get from this normal sober life there's no it's, it's a fact so I started smoking weed when I was like 32 I have I know up to 32 years I've suffered a lot so when I started smoking weed I became happy in my life and yeah. happy and like the depression and anxious get away from me so I feel like I still have to hide it and everything even though in my head I'm like this is benefiting me so much my ADHD it's making it's just calming me you down calming me down and making me evaluate the CBD the, the CBD making. does that yeah. yeah evaluates the decisions that I make and I don't hate myself as much because I had so much self-hatred as you why do you do that to yourself yeah it's just being a, a man not living up to the man that you should be so you feel fucking disappointed in yourself so you act like even bigger man when really you're actually suffering inside sort of shit so that kind of yeah. exactly it yeah. mm. you just have to keep going though don't you you just have to keep persevering keep trying to put that it. positive foot in front of the other bro yeah you're persevere and just push on through bro innit mm. get to these low points and like keep pushing when on. we're going through it when we're go- especially at our age when we get to our exam when we're actually living through it from the age of technology starting to now and trying to Adapt. trying to live to our father's way of living and not make a disappointment to our family but even though the world we're growing up in now is completely different so like a lot of like people our age are getting judged by their families and feeling shit in their life because they have to live a different life yeah it's not the same as it's the old it's not the same man oh, do you know 100%. what I mean like and I feel like my father is definitely my mother and parents are like dinosaurs it's hard to because they live such a life their whole life they can't change yeah, yeah. They've lived this Irish Catholic way of living That's their whole it. life. Church, any church decisions. family as well, Eddie? Would you? No, it's never been to church. Never. But it's never talked about in our family. We don't talk deeply about anything. It's literally, where's the washing? What time were you in last night? It's literally <laughs> such levels of conversation that you still have with like 10, 11, 12 year olds, which is frustrating for me. Like, yeah, because like, my fa- me and my father have never had a good relationship, never really had a conversation, ne- never really had a proper conversation for longer than five minutes, say, our whole life. Yeah, and then all of a sudden my daughter comes along and he's pure, the golden man. Do you know? And it's tough for me to deal with at times. I, I, do you know? Even at this age now, you think it doesn't affect you, but like you can't help if stuff affects it because you've been through it and this has affected you, so you can't help it but affecting you. Does that make sense? Yeah, that does make sense. Yeah, yeah. there's a lot of effect in there. <laughs> there is. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> boys. We're getting pure. I was pure. Chillax there. I thought yeah, but, what was going on? But no, but, um, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, it's a madness. So like that's we heavy tech, isn't it? What? It's heavy stuff though. Yeah, it is. Because a lot, even now, like a good friend of mine, during the week, like he's one of these lads. He had his own company in Australia. Everything going for him. He even cl- climbed Mount Everest there a few weeks ago, and he got he was up on top of a crane. This is something like two weeks ago on top of a crane, got electrocuted, dropped fifteen meters. And now he's in a coma. What was he doing up there? Because he has just done a business. He's always doing building and. and he's always on the crane. He's always up in, so he was up there, got electrocuted, and now he's in a coma. Like so, in you're thinking to yourself, he's in Australia still. So you're thinking to yourself, man, like, it could just literally be over like that. Like. It's mad. Isn't it's it? mad. Life is so mad, and like we complain about the smallest of things when well, really the, think, the they yeah. think men bottle it up. Oh, There's definitely. All, men are always bottling it up though. more than women. Do you think? Oh yeah, because even yeah, when 100%. when I was playing soccer when I was 16, if I was on the bench, I wanted to cry. Like, I'm so, such an emotional person that I wanted to cry so much because, like, oh, I'm not good enough, blah, blah, blah. And I used to feel so ashamed of it. Off. Yeah. I used to feel so ashamed of it. Did you actually? I do. Yeah. And it's mad, isn't it? You just want to play. You just want to keep going. Because you are going. still a child just battling your childhood trauma. You're still the exact same person. So when people say, oh, you're this age or that age, you're a young lad. You're, no, you're exactly the same person and you're only battling what you've been through. You're still the same. You're still going to make uh, inevitably the same smart, decisions. Though, like if you're a, if you're a good person, you you can't judge yourself for decisions that you make because you're only fighting through what you've been told before. So then when you you make up your own mind about what you believe in, you feel it's like your own thoughts against yourself. Yeah, it's your own thoughts against yourself. 
And then you're competing with your family. Oh, you have to think this way or you have to do that. And then you're letting people down and people are not getting your point of view because they just don't get it. But sometimes you do come across the people that are on the same level and they're just and on it's the same lovely. wavelength. And yeah, just, it's great. And lads. you just sit there and, and you're yeah. vibing like the tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Specs yeah. in the spectrum. It's great oh, when you just bump. When you... When you bump. <laughs> <laughs> But Jeez, when, when don't you, get me back on it. No, it's great when you just meet that person and it just clicks. Yeah. And you have your few points and you have your crack and then you wake up next morning. Oh, and you go, oh, like yeah. But that's what I love about like what used to get me so angst up is I had no belief system and I had no faith in anything because even from the start when I was doing religion in school, it was like, so you telling me Adam and Eve were the first people on earth, right? And I, I know how babies are made. So Adam and Eve were the first people. They wrote and then they wrote and then they... And I was like, I was just like, no. So, and then uh, and it came to the exam. It's like, why did Mary and, uh, why did Mary and Joseph ride to Jerusalem with a donkey? And I was just so taken with her goes, because cars weren't invented. <laughs> <laughs> and she was like, oh, Sister Yvonne, she hated me, but big hairy legs on her. <laughs> what? No, but it's not fair to force your fucking thoughts and faith on me, you fucker. Yeah, it's really not, isn't it? It's not unfair. It's not I fair. Like. And if you don't agree that what she's saying, she's literally like, she was going, hey, Gally, do that fucking say me. I'm like, all right, Rabsy Nesbit Rex. <laughs> Loch Ness Monster. That's yeah. mad that you had like sisters and all in your school. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I had sisters sister in my school. school. Oh, man, there was like 1,800 <laughs> oh kids God. in my school in England. Chap, hey man, did you hey. go to? Did you go to? Uh, this what's show was wild, man. What was this called? Sunshine House. Cardinal Newman High School, Roman Catholic School. I never seen so many oh, different shades were in, sk- we in Roman Catholic. You were in school with Jimmy Savage. Was I fuck? Jimmy's next door, boys. I only went to visit him, and he wasn't in my school. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Savaloy was his name. What the, what said it was fifteen hundred kids? Fifteen to eighteen hundred kids in my school, yeah. Boys oh, and right. girls. Blagger. Imagine the mad old shit going down there. It's crazy, man. That's Luton Town, dude. But the mad thing about it, if when you're a kid, you're a kid, you don't know your environment. You're just a kid. Just so, like, yeah, when so I was kicking the ball over the fence and I was, like, smelling all these flowers, though, these are nice. Didn't realise that the, the Pakistani CBD. man next door was growing the best weed. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> maybe that's where I got the taste for it. And I didn't have it for, like, 20 years. And then when <laughs> I got it back, back again, I was like, head. oh, yes, I suddenly want a beamer. Oh, my God. <laughs> that is you fucking hilarious. A beamer. So like I'd kick the ball in every five minutes, not knowing why. <laughs> Stop kicking the ball in, doing bicycle kicks over the fence, <laughs> <laughs> playing that's volleyball in, slapping it over the fence. Yeah, that's a, that's actually mad now. Just think about like he went to school in England. He did, yeah. Mm. And we we went here, but would obviously Ireland would is it mad to say Ireland would be more like they have more sisters and brother schools? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it would be more like less shagging. Yeah. As in, like, get these kids away from each other in case they start putting their hands down their pants. Because <laughs> kids get curious, man. I swear, in my school, like, the toilets are full. Like, there's no doubt smell at lunch times. <laughs> and there was no that? vaping back then. There was only sucking. <laughs> 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 and that's just the God on the truth. That is the truth. Because I was involved, so it's obviously not freaky when I was there. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, look. That's school for you, lads. You know, I learned a few oh, lessons. Great, oh, I was man, like, man. Pythagoras is theorem. Oh yeah, we actually used that earlier, didn't we? What Pythagoras team? Yeah. In what? We were getting a point. D- did I say it? That's how. Uh, that's how protein bar turns. <laughs> <laughs> he runs like that. He has to get out Pythagoras' team and a protractor, and then he goes out. <laughs> yeah, he's like too bored, doesn't he? Oh, <laughs> lad, what a sound man that lad is. Oh, isn't he? He's a, a little gent, but he's a legend. He just loves the crack too, and he's built. He's just. Open I just hope nothing gets to him. Like you know, some lads can stuff can get to him, and yeah, they start. Yeah, what about what about Ben and Connor? Yeah, Ryan? I've been a bit of prick, but he can just tur- as long oh, as he keeps be being himself. What about the two boys doing the boxing? Are they and the boys on the pads. Home? The boys are trying to fucking flick you out pads. If one lad can't hold the pads, you're the ha- if, the lad can't, if one lad can't hold the pads, the other lad's not going to be able to hit them. Simple as that. That's fact. That is, that's very true. And who can't hold the pads? Conor Ryan can't hold no pads. He's a fanny pad himself. What do you have to say to that? Ah, only messing Conor Ryan. You're lovely. You're a lovely old bloke, but MC Davis I haven't met you yet. Bust you. MC I'm Davis said he's going to open you up when he sees you. I'm going to give you a hurricane runner, right? And then I'm going to get in the top rope and then a swan tom bomb people's elbow the face off you. Well, and then I'm going to go out of the well, ring. And the then pads. I can come back as stone cold. Huh? 
Who can't box the pads though? That's what I want to know. Serena Williams' <laughs> brother, Benjamin Williams. Oh, we he, swing, he swings the boxing glove like a tennis racket. Yeah, that's <laughs> like sweet, bro. <laughs> He's trying to throw aces, he is. <laughs> 40 love to me, good luck. <laughs> oh, Advantage Benjamin me, Williams. you're dead. Benjamin Williams. There you go. You Do you know what? I'll, I'll say one thing. I don't, I don't think he knows what he's getting himself into. I know, lads. I can't box. I won't box eggs. He couldn't box himself. I won't box he's myself out of a paper bag. A point glass just smashed himself earlier. Just knowing that day someone sitting As long as Ben knows. He's made it to the halfway point. This is the halfway point here now. We say thank you to our sponsor. Help us out here big time. Yep. Camerakit.ie. Down and turn your business park. Go down, get your high end quality cameras, audio and lighting. If you can't find them, go into the link in our bio. Make sure you do it, check it out, and let's get back to the episode. And I don't fight. I didn't see his last I'm fight. I'm not a fighting looking. man. Well, does it look good? We're getting up for well, the I'm, tra- I'm getting trained off John Connors, anyway, so there's no doubts that I'm going to win. There you go, John Connors. John Connors. Uh, John Connors, fair play to you for training the man. Yeah, 100%. You better get the best of fucking petrol out of those damn old. hands. Mm. Oh, wish. Look at that, there. King Gaffo. You you're petrol now, King Gaffo, petrol. you're done in, boy. I'm going to bust you. We use proper cement. Dead. And I would say I would say I was fucking having beef with fucking. Oh, yeah, what happened there, Simi? I'll tell you all about it now. All right, go ahead, go ahead. I'm going to get that man. I'm going to dust him. Inside two rounds. But here, tell him. No, yeah, actually, tell him what. Tell him what. The, the but you can't say that in case you get busted yourself. No one's gonna bust me. There's not right. There's not beef, but there's little things. No, he was up here. Corn beef. He was only up here. Only a tiny bit. Getting filled with us up in the good work, and he was giving a large about good work being scrapped. And it's the best curry shop around. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where he's looking. That's let's, the thing. Let's think. Let's get in a ring and thump each other around because you said the curry shop up my no, way is boxy. Like <laughs> when really it's just That's for TikTok followers. I am going to beat off him for thousand TikTok well, followers. Well, he did. He come up and he, there's a yolk that we get up here. Yolk's what are called? Simo special. A Simo. Oh, that'd be some yolk I'd say. It's a beef. It'd be one of them getting not enough. Oh, yeah. you should see this thing. Spicy it's beef, madness. spicy chicken, spicy chips, spicy rice, curry sauce. <laughs> They're gonna be the new vapes. Elf <laughs> 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 bars. <laughs> Chip shop flavor. And a spicy chicken bar. Horrible flavor. And a spicy <laughs> chicken bar. <laughs> 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 imagine that. Be lots of that. You think? And there'll be calories in it all. That's what's gonna happen. You're gonna be sucking on protein vapes. Actually, protein vapes. Yeah. Uh, boys, I'm pure embarrassed because it's like a dog's dick. If you're walking around, you're trying to hold it. Protein. Yeah, boys, I say we're waking up all the neighbours. Yeah, love it. Fuck the neighbours. Hang on, I had Jeez, they're the sexy. Uh, Wait, here, well, Dason. Dason, here, Dason. Dason, here, listen to this, right? Just deep this for a second. As you age, the phone goes dead. What? For them. For what? For would you rather. Oh, wished. Yeah. Here we go, here we Wish go. Wish me. Right, let's go with the first one. Would you rather have an extra toe or an extra finger? An extra finger for the ladies. So oh, an extra finger would be way better advantage. I'll be playing the piano like Beethoven. Oh, there you go, be Beethoven. <laughs> like that. I'll be playing a six-finger guitar with near thumb. It has to be, it's, uh, it has to be fingers. Cause what in the shoe, the shoe, shoes you're getting, the poor no. So his up, <laughs> not even size been. up, his size wider. They just have a compartment on the side for the extra toe. Yeah, and you won't be able to walk straight. <laughs> Imagine there's a big toe as well. Oh. Oh. That's an would an extra easy, finger or would an extra toe make you better at swimming? It doesn't matter. The goat's the same. Adding it doesn't water. matter. You're still getting slagged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you, would you rather... I'm not Michael Phelps. Yeah, this is a mad old question, yeah. Would you rather have 10,000 spoons when all you need is a knife or always have a knife but never to be a, ne- never be able to use spoons again? Yeah, but look, listen to me. You don't... I'd rather use a spoon than a knife when I'm buttering bread. That's not facts. if you're living in Limerick. <laughs> why, why is that? Hey, right, because you can't stop loud with a spoon. <laughs> I suppose you could <laughs> if you really wanted. Yeah, yeah. Good. I want to butter my bread and stab lads. <laughs> but you could, if you're any good, you'd grind the spoons down to knives. There you go. Oh, that's true. Like like, a shiv. Yeah. Remember like years that. ago, you used to eat your ice pop and then you walk them down the wall with your stick to make it into a blade. <laughs> no, I did that. You All did right, that. fucking Viking material there. <laughs> Two pick, is it? You stab not only. No, fucking. remember the wooden stick you used to get in your ice pop. You actually did grind it down for a little. We used to keep them and I used to go like that. 
into a little ponytail. You fucking bastard. Thought you were going to jail any second. <laughs> Would you rather listen yeah. to one song for the rest of your life or never be allowed to listen to the same song twice? Oh, definitely the second one. Yeah, second one. I'd rather listen to more. Yeah. You'd rather listen to one and never be able to listen to it more than twice? But that's not the answer. The answer is I'd rather listen to one and not have You're to right. listen to one tongue in forever. One tongue. One but tongue, the answer one is Britney Spears. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Hit me, baby. <laughs> right, last Carpo. one. This is a, this is a good one. Right, okay. Go. You said would, the last one was good. Would you rather mm-hmm. yeah. be born without knees or without elbows? <laughs> no, because you have elbows. no elbows. Elbows. Like elbows. <laughs> <laughs> if you had no knees, you won't be able to walk around, lads. But you'd be like that. Oh no, like no knees mean like my knees be able to kick myself in the head. <laughs> this will bend back like that. We walk around like that. Look, no. But you won't be able to stand on it. Oh, you wouldn't be able to like that. That's I've no cruciate, like so this. like I know you it's like. like it uh, has to be no elbows. Oh my god, if you actually try and do that. Look. Oh no, can you wank? Oh, you can't even wank. <laughs> you can't, Mike. You'd have to lie in the bat for an hour, so you're <laughs> yeah, so yeah. Oh, don't lie in the bat anyway, get stuck to it. <laughs> don't lie, lie in a bottle of acid. Don't lie ever. Wait, no, wait, listen. Don't ever listen lie. here now. Let go. I have two things I want to ask, right? Well, <laughs> do you know what, right? I was going to ask him, then I said, <sighs> Ask are everything. Are they intelligent enough to answer these ah, questions? Fuck off. Oh, am I intelligent enough? Yours. Oh, yeah, I definitely am. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Sim? No, but it's like comedic. It's a comedic question. Okay. So this will te- this will actually test him because he's going to do. Oh my god! It's not an umbrella test, is it? Stand up, right? Oh, uh, uterus. Oh, stop! Burning the house T- down, taking a piss. Things you can say to your dog, but not to your girlfriend. Oh, I, like see, my favorite show of all time. Whose line is it anyway? So yeah, come. Right. right. So come on, tell me. Come. <laughs> There's one. You give me one. Like, uh, the things. Oh, we'll just be here all day. Here's uh, the ball. Here's the ball. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys! Imagine saying this. Put that down. You get smacking the jaw, wouldn't you? Take them off. <laughs> what? What? Imagine saying, "Put that down." Here's a bone. Imagine saying, <laughs> "Oh, that's a good one." I'm trying to think now. Now I win. Yes. You do. Well, on there isn't. Come, come is the one. Come is the best one. Come in the bone. Come in the bone. <laughs> G spot right, right up there. It's not fair. Things you love it. Things you can say to your computer, but can't you say to your girlfriend. Oh, your computer. Yeah, what? Your car. Things you can say to your computer, but not to your girlfriend. Okay, let me, let me. Things you can do. What, can you talk to your computer? I think so. See, it's your computer. I don't see that to my computer. No, <laughs> Why are you dead again, you cunt? <laughs> <laughs> There's well, one. It'll, it'll never be dead until you plug it in. Yeah. <laughs> that's what you can say to your computer, but not your girlfriend. You're dead again, you cunt. <laughs> yeah, that's one. <laughs> that's 100% one. That's another one. Oh, okay, I got it no, 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 what and about this one? Delete history. What was the one out of it? Fucking. Oh, I pretended to type in the password. How do I get into this? I don't know. I don't have a clue, lad. Security, pure, like, your man. Sherlock Lewis. Firewall. Norton. 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 <laughs> Microsoft. You have to. Boys, no, seriously. Your subscription what is gone. I was with a bureau before called Snort and Norton. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, but I just wanted to let people know this is two o'clock in the morning. Is it actually? Uh, yeah. yeah, what the fuck? Oh, fuck. It's 2.02.02. Oh, 2.02 oh, two. Oh, two. Two oh, two in the morning and we've been... And there's still... Uh, X is still having text back. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't. <laughs> what? It's like every... Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> you up. Are you a- active and attractive? <laughs> you up. I seen you in what you five minutes ago. What are you saying? Are we already? Welcome to the rhyme game. This is next week's this episode. This is the game where you <laughs> rhyme. <laughs> this week's episode is the rhyming game. Welcome Jesus to the rhyming game. Jesus. This week's episode we have... Justice for Justin. Justice for Justin. <laughs> justice for Justice. Justin. 
Just in time for the rhyming game. <laughs> Justin Timberlake. What word are we starting with? Computer, give us a word. And the first word is Jacob's corner flags. What? <laughs> so what you have to do? So I, and uh, the first thing that came to my mind was love shagging slags. <laughs> so is that go? Does that go? It does, yeah, but it's it's Muggsy started off there, so... Oh, so that wasn't no, the Give a word, give a single word. Right. Cats. Cats. Oi. Oh, you can't just say cats right, you have to say cats <laughs> right. <laughs> give me That's a second. second. You can't just say cats right. Really, uh, give me a second. No, you go bash. <laughs> no, 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 like no, it has oh to be... Oh my a God, we're going to have a full <laughs> five minute conversation, then I'm going to say a cat. No, it no. has to be a sentence. What sort of shit is that? It has to be a sentence. Has to be a oh, it has to be a sentence. Yeah. All right. Now he's I went around the school and I seen two boys over there scarting over there. Was that him, boys? No, go on, start. Go, no. will you? Come on, oh, start okay. it. Cash. Two claps, one smack. Oh, two chaps, one nap. My Bures got clap. Oh. Does that work? Two fingers equals snap. Oh. Oh, love Cereal. <laughs> what? It likes to snap. Oh my god, this. Wait, you can't even <laughs> say snap. Didn't you? Oh, did he? Oh, sorry, sorry. Oh, sorry. He's sorry. out. Oh, I'm out. I'm so out. So it's oh, like red arse. You've yeah, watched yeah, right, right, right. right, two lives left. Right, you've two lives left. Red arse, go. Line Z. You all know me, he's still the best MC. The best MC? He did say that. So I'm out. I'm <laughs> <laughs> you're, out. Yeah, it's, uh, you're down to two. <laughs> but yeah, like, that. Right, go on, the best MC. Sim. He said Sim. that, I'm out. So. Yeah, go on, you're going out. Go on, go on. <laughs> Give me a... No, it's actually Monksy next, isn't it? Oh, right, 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 you said right, the best right, MC. Right. And I'm saying, up in the country. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, you were out, you were out. You out. lost a life. Man, you're so right, I'll you start, I'll out. start. Right. She said I have a big fat shoulder. Oh my god, you got a head like a boulder. <laughs> no, she I'm said, hey, why is it hot? I said it can't get any colder. Oh my god. He- come back. Oh my god. I'm sure the loading her. <laughs> <laughs> he won't be doing that when he gets older. Wait a minute, he said. Oh, <laughs> how are you? Well? Lads, come on. You let me down. <coughs> you let me down here. Go <laughs> say. Right, I'll start again. I'll start again. <laughs> The whole podcast. I'm here. You <laughs> looking at? Where is this play? That video. Oh fuck! All right, I'm back. <coughs> Wait, what? So you're best midfielder is one type of a run. Oh, you ready? Sim has on one leaf. Okay, Sim. All right, you go next. One doja equals ka. Oh. What game is that? Oh. One baseball equals ba. Oh. Two <laughs> hands equals clap. <laughs> I'm tired and going to take a nap. <laughs> oh, no one said two fingers equals snap. Oh, two boys equals chaps. Oh my god, I love the bureaus with the days now cracks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, two. I got two legs equals slacks. <laughs> yeah, that works. That's very good. That's me, yo. Monkey bud. Gonna get me. They don't sell solo, only packs. Oh, I didn't get shot. That was two pack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. Jump on the concrete equals cracks. <laughs> <laughs> she gave me a blowjob down to the sack. <laughs> Go on, monks. What did he say again? <laughs> yeah. What did I say again? It's a oh, I'm going to kill myself on a train track. <laughs> was that it? Yeah, was it? One, two, give him a smack. And I won a competition on Art Attack. My, sa- my favourite Save by the Bell character was Zack. <laughs> It stood up, it hurt me toes, it was a thumbtack. Ooh. My mother still uses a shaking back. Can oh. I please get a large Big Mac? Wish. Right there, that Mac is done. Next one. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of any more. Mac is done. Mac is done. We, we completed Mac. 
<laughs> yeah, we just put, we're just gonna put tick off my there, please. Thank you. When I come back for the next episode, we're going to return of the Mac for our three letter one rhyming game. Return of the Mac. Yeah. Oh, go on, Simo. What's your next word? I'm here without a notion. Oh my god, mix the potion. <laughs> Oh, she says it's not the size, it's the motion. Oh, oh I'm over here and I'm asleep. I'm comatose. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I don't comatose too much because well, I'm in the ocean. Like, <laughs> can't say Every that. time my ex is like, why would I cause a commotion? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on my head having an ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Give us a wine, quit that lotion. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, no. We quick have known. <laughs> 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 He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> oh, I'm having, oh, having a notion. <laughs> 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 I'm a bleeding notion. You were there. You were doing well inside the ocean. Right, right, Dyson's down two lives. Down to two. Lives. Down two, two lives. Oh, Some was on one. We're on two. Portion was good. Potion was a good one. What about oh, you? Do that. You do that one. Lump. I'm coming at you with the two pump. <laughs> 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 my favorite move is Forrest Gump. <laughs> oh, what is that in my neck? It's a lump. <laughs> Did we say lump already? <laughs> that was the start. That was the start. Lump was the start. You said lump to start. Bye. <laughs> it's, 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 it's like, what rhymes it? Boy, I lump. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Brian always hiding back with the. Sound. Yes, it's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Sound. laughs> Hiding the same spot the lad just caught you. Oh, That's Simo. Oh, that was a right good spot. I, I hide there. Are you on, eh? Yeah, I'm just gonna jump in there after you. Oh, that was right good. He fights for ages. I jump back in. <laughs> Oh, if you find me quicker than you, I'll be so <laughs> lousy because that's the right good spot. It was actually a good show. But anyway, lump, bump. So are you gone now, so? Yeah, same as gone. Oh, so it's me and the, the fucking the right lad. <laughs> I'm, I'm testing him all day with everything. Camels and lumps. How about turn on that jukebox? Oh, we don't suck no cocks. Man's got monkey pox. <clears throat> While he's wearing crocs. Oh my God, man's got brown socks. <laughs> They isn't just want to look super. And he's got long locks. We're over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we got big cocks. I'm over oh, here. Oh, he said cocks. <laughs> oh no. Yes. So we're both down to one. No, you're on one. I'm a two. Oh, you're on two still. Yeah, of course I am. Oh, no. Right, you go first. Right. Oh, I have to think about what's been said. Right, oh. go on. I let you pick the word. No, I picked the last one. So you pick this one. Okay. 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 Right. How are you doing? Sheep. What? See you next time. Give her a beep. <laughs> <laughs> Saying dirty words, I have to bleep. You're bad plumbers, you're causing leaks. <laughs> uh, we only come out from around me, you two geeks. And then we hit the peak. Oh. Oh Get my god, do you smell no you reek? <laughs> no, I don't, I won't star of the week. <laughs> McGillicuddy Reeves. Give me an old gram antique. We <laughs> 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 okay, well, I'll give him a polite oh. for that one. <laughs> that was the last one. Fuck! <laughs> Stop looking at yourself. <coughs> right, Champions League final, play the music. Vape. Oh, Champions League final, yeah, play the music. <laughs> <laughs> Do Let's go. Ready? We're Vape. all in this for the final. No, we're not. Simo, you're gone, man. You don't even get the bike light. We let him in. We let him in. Okay. We let him in. I'm back in. I'm doing it. There's me back home and fucking Ted Moore waiting on me to host a sandwich, hoping he fucking Ireland's got time to give me the wild card. Oh, they give it to someone else. Cunts. Well, here we go. Oi, final. Here we go. Whoever loses. So we're going to say. Loses. So vape. Vape. I like the juice. We call it grape. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> that is good. I like to say that bowl word. Who's your Who's your favorite contestant off the Late Late Show contestant? over the years? Contestant. Oh, not contestant. <laughs> what would you call I'm them? Back challenge Ryan Turbery for a fight. <laughs> now who the kids that come on are like people like yeah the kids that come oh, on. I don't know. 
over the last year. Oh, the Thai show? Yeah. Ah, fuck them. I don't watch that shit. Wait, I'm like, oh, my old kids be dealing with it. I don't be watching other kids play with Thais. Because <laughs> all I get is, do you want to play Dallies? Do you remember the, do you remember the little farmer fella that wanted to be a horologist? No. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Like, so... Some kids have some memories in parents, like. Yeah, oh, I was only saying this the other day, actually. Aren't kids way more advanced nowadays? 100%. They've no... They've no... They've no idea how smart they are. That's a fact. They've all the information in front of them, like. <laughs> They're smart new anyway, you can't. <laughs> smart, definitely smart new. So, but like, actually, actually you're in college, you're in college. Where did you go in phase two? For phase two? <laughs> Was all your... No, phase two, I went to Finglas. And phase four? Phase four, I went to Dundalk. Um, at Lone Phase 6 Did you actually go to Lone Phase 6? Well no, I was like Did you go into Carver and all that in Phase 6 You're getting 600 quid a week If you're Three you? months You're up and having Yeah yeah that was class I was getting like the 600 a week And I had like a, a new car Every sick a week And people blowing all the money So going out Buying rounds And fucking take your Straight down to the pubs At yeah, yeah, time yeah. At 11 o'clock in the morning yeah. Watching Home and Away At half one per lot <laughs> Why had to pay for me uh, College Did you buy Oh well what did you call it? Sports science. Did you actually? <laughs> yeah. So what did you... Uh, I done six months of it. And what did you do... Uh, what did you do... Uh, what did you actually have to learn? Like? Sports science, like all mm. sports massages. Oh, I love to like and sports and psychology. I like that. Yeah, that's like what that. it's sort of like. Is it sports though? Good? Just bits and bobs in it. Boy, you used to just go <laughs> in there. bits and bobs. <laughs> bits and bobs. Oh, <laughs> I was in the two yards shop in Tarlis. <laughs> shout out to bits and bobs. I got it now, actually. Shout out to bits and bobs. I got an iPhone lead off in there the other day for two euros. I was like, this is never going to last. And it still lasted. Plugged into my new Peugeot 7 into the new Blau Punk stereo that is definitely robbed. Plugged in, boom. But the thing about it is, it stays on when you turn the car off. So if you're stoned to that, the radio stays on. <laughs> <laughs> and battery dead again, father. Hey, father. How are we getting on? Is everything all good, yeah? <laughs> you stop passing now, we're all getting on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, what do I say next? How are you getting on? <laughs> How are you getting on, mate? But here, you never... <laughs> <laughs> you never been at the crack class. You never know. tell me how so. <laughs> yeah, you're a sight. You look like Bruce Forsyth. <laughs> Bruce, near a bit of sight. Will you just take them off? Hey, look, this episode has been deadly. <laughs> so I started making videos ten years ago, right? And the first time I started making videos was YouTube videos. This is before anyone, before Keen TV, for anyone, right? And I made up this page called Sculpture Body. Right? Sculpture Body. Yeah. So and the premises of this. Their st- videos are still on YouTube. I, don't, I haven't seen them in years, but they're definitely still there. And I do this character now, so it's MC Days, and I do this other character called Anthony. Uh, 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 I'm afraid of fire. I just, I don't want to, I don't want to play Fortnite because it makes me scared before bed because they're always shooting me. <laughs> so that's I. <laughs> That character is from taking the piss. This class, <laughs> oh, man. That character is from taking the piss piss out of my little brother. So I call him Anthony. So then when people meet <laughs> Anthony in real life, they're like, "Oh my god, you actually have a little brother called Anthony?" I'm like, yeah, that's him. But back then, when I was doing sculpture body, I was teaching my brother how to do stuff in the gym, like, like bicep curls yeah. and all this shit, and he was throwing shit at it. So I, I made up a character called Jimmy Mac Muggins, who just <laughs> ate bananas. <laughs> Right, I was just pure shit in the gym. Right, <laughs> so I used to make videos in this old school, temporary gym, old school, the biggest rocky gym you could get. One bit of degree cold outside, and there's sweat dripping off all the fucking weights inside the ring. 20 kg plates felt like fucking tons of cars on top of you. But what I used to make these videos, set up the camera with <laughs> my old iPhone 5. You up that bike. And I would record Jimmy McMuggins doing the shit workouts. Where did you ever get Jimmy McMuggins from? I just made it up, Jimmy McMuggins, because Anthony was, <laughs> Anthony was having sex with his pure, and I used to call her, um, Muggin McMuggin. Oh, what did I call her? Uh, oh, what did I used to call her? Oh, no, what did I used to call her? But anyway, it was something along those lines. Yeah, so. what did he used to call her? <laughs> so, what's that? So, Jimmy McMuggins. What did he used to call her? Oh yeah, Tootless Jimmy, yeah. yeah because he was with this one before, had a load of teeth. Yes. Load of loose teeth, and they used to call her uh, 
Lucy Goose. <laughs> no, Would you call her loose teeth when she's on the beat? <laughs> Tootless Jimmy, I used to call <laughs> her. <laughs> Tootless Jimmy. Why Jimmy? I don't know. And then I made up Jimmy Mac Muggins, pretend to be him. <laughs> and the ma- owner of the gym was like, get the fuck out of my gym, make videos of my premises, because he was getting 50 off lads and not paying tax for lads being paying there and making <laughs> videos. And it's just true. And the treadmills never even worked. The this is a madness. But that's not true. Yeah, you know what else is true? The queen is dead. But that's just pure law. Why did you say that? <laughs> but are you curious? That she is pure law. She was sound. You had to bring it back to the gutter, didn't you, Sim? Bring it back to the gutter. What did you really think about it? I didn't to think be honest, when she died, I was just like, oh. Yeah, like, you don't actually care, don't you? I know? don't like really, you just like, no. Give, like, it's not like that you're not in a bad way or in a good way. You just, I you think just don't we, give a fuck. Huh? We've got to the stage in our lives now where people die and we're like, why should we feel extra sorry for it's someone that's not even related to us and has made a decision? Yeah. Even, like, if someone dies, like, isn't it mad even that like, people just forget about it? Like, yeah, that's my yeah because and you're trying to leave a legacy and then you think yourself, why would well, I? Well, not with the queen because like if I was to die tomorrow, I wouldn't be fucked into history books and all. So what you live in life for? There's the question. What am I living life for? Yeah, I just want to have the crack. Yeah, Do you, like just having the crack and then there's having the crack and letting your family down and then affecting <laughs> your life. <laughs> so that kind of it. You so like, true, take it to the gutters of the gutters. That no, is true though. It is, it is hard to balance it. It's hard to do yeah. well and have the crack at the same time. Because then, because especially with drink and definitely coke, you get into fuck everyone else mode. Yeah. As in like, I have so much energy, fuck everyone else. And you get into this mode of, this is, you can't reach that mode sober. You can't. It's impossible. I don't care what anyone says to me. Would it be enlightenment for you? Well, I took mushrooms there like about a week and a half ago, right? Did you? Yeah. Oh, I'd love to try mushrooms. And then the next day I was smoking weed and then I felt like shit, right? And then I had about five pints of Guinness. And then I was back in my hometown and I was literally, I've never been as sick in my life, right? Do you know what? The last time I got that sick was the first time I took speed and I was crawling up the stairs and getting sick to the bed. <laughs> Oh, stop. What the fuck was... How, did you actually take speed, Chuck? Someone gave me a bomb of speed once no. in a Rizla and said, oh, take that. I was like, what's that? Oh, it's only in a Rizla. I was like, oh, maybe... Do you not know what's a bomb in your Rizla? No, because I actually never took any drugs till I was 27. I thought I was going to be a professional soccer player up to like 23, 24. Did you actually? Yeah. And even at that age, I was like, it's never going to happen for you. What are you doing? Like, it's always... And the mad thing about it is I carried a football with me everywhere, right? And when I was at home alone... Every trick in the book, everything, everything flowed, everything was lovely. But what I didn't realise, I didn't have the mental capacity to deal with anxiety of a match day of pressure. Right. So when it came down to it, I would always, and I could do unbelievable in a match. I could score a hat-trick, I could do this and that. But because of my overall anxiety, I just remember that one mistake and pe- think people yeah, are going to yeah. judge me. Like, And I could never just be comfortable in accepting that I'd done something good. And I... I and it's so hard trying to figure that out at this age. Like, why couldn't I accept myself doing good stuff? Why am I always so fucking hard on myself? Why am I always so fucking, like, uh, like even every mistake in a relationship I've made up to now, single out, I still allude back to sometimes when I'm lonely of, like, if you didn't do this, you didn't do that, that yeah, person will after you. Just you can't change the past. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you can't, can't change the past. Change like. the past. There's no point to just crying over spilling milk. And, like, yeah. and the m- the more anyone even says that to you, the more it doesn't matter when you're in that headspace because them words are literally in your head just made up words because that thought or that heartbreak or that thing can't leave your head with words. You have to work through it, whether it's working on your family matters that's getting you down or going back to work and maybe trying to do better at work to gain an advantage, getting that money back that you may be lost trying to gain that high again because... You're getting stuck in the matrix again. You're getting stuck in that rat race of why am I living this nine to five? I have a roof over my head. I have dinner on the table. Why? Why am I still constantly fighting with myself? And it's because ultimately I want to figure it all out, but you're not going to. So get to a stage in your life where you can just be yourself without any cares, cares, but not hurting anyone else that cares about you. Because I've been, 
when I've been through that life of not caring about anyone else, I'm living my life, I'm going through this now. They don't understand that's my heartache. They, my family doesn't understand the shit I've been through. They don't understand what they put me through. But really, when you're suffering deep down not telling anyone else, you're putting your family through more heartache again. You're, you're putting yourself through more har- heartache. So it's you're, a double-edged sword. It's a double-edged sword. And like you're not... And what Monks, you said to me earlier in the pub earlier, it's like, do you meet someone on the same level? Even when your family life's on the level, work life's on the level. You don't have to be making millions. You don't have to be... But when it's just on a smooth level of things, things just... Positive things start to happen. It's little small increments that you should look little for. Little plateaus. Yeah, little small little plateaus. Like, when I was depressed after I break my leg last time, and trying to get o- off Oxycontin, and the room just stay, and then I'm completing my third fucking Grand Theft Auto game, and 35 years of age with a kid, and I think to myself, is this what it is? Is this actually what it is? And right, then That's a good achievement. Yeah, and then I start smoking weed, and literally, literally, it's something simple as this. Always keeping my son them right there and then it grew to putting that there and then it grew to that and then it grew to I'm fucking running again then I'm running to fucking bah 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 and everything just alludes to fucking what one grows into another it's like a mushroom it just branches just keeps going what used to fuck me up is focusing on the end goal I need to fucking get there but once you take one little step towards that goal rather than thinking about that yeah. you can branch off into other little things and you're still gradually going along you branch off into other things like even meeting new lads and the fucking soccer and shit. Branching off again, meeting these lads, meeting this lads, and you're all coming together that's and you're all creating magic. Looking, and that's what the life is about, just creating magic together and realising that this is all just a load of fucking molecules just flying around the place and now we get to just do this just and fucking have a drink together and fucking talk through a mic and then this young lad, the mother's ringing him, he's like, get home quick. <laughs> and we're just like, fucking hell, the father's going to have the bed on a second wag and we're just here still having the third pint. Oh. It's a bit of crack though, isn't it? It's a fucking bit of crack, boys. That's what it's all about. Mm, it Don't is. take yourself too serious. And look after the ones that really deep down love you and want to look after them too. Yeah, as that's much true. as we want to fight them, because if you fight we the ones close love, to you, because you're you. so your personalities are so close that even a little tiny little switch of a word could literally drive you to cut mad. I never spat on anyone on my brother in a game of FIFA. Like, you know I mean? <laughs> just knowing in my just knowing in my head that this is the ultimate law of the law. He scores, Puyol bang over the top. Eto scores a hat trick in ten minutes. And like, you fucking <laughs> bastard! You cheat! You don't even play football right. You know that sort of shit. He he used to. I think my brother is so intelligent. Like, and it annoys me how lazy as well because. I'd be working so hard, my energy would be flying around, like, working so hard, and then I'd fail, and then he'd just arrive on, pure knight in shining armor, pure tall, more handsome than me, and just pure gets it done in two seconds, and I feel like I'm pure <laughs> shit cunt. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, but he was the biggest legend ever, but I love him, but brothers, you know, best brothers friend. are good, siblings are good. I wouldn't know. You can get in some toxic rivalries with brothers, man, and well, family not, members. Even me and my brother, even me. Yeah, even me, now, still. Brother, like, there's always rivalries. Yeah. It's good to have that little bit of competition, but I can get yeah, fucking. Keep trying your toes. Well, you had that with me older sister. <laughs> She's only sisters. Because I only have sisters, so she was the closest. That's why one. you're so sensitive. She was the one closest to a boy, so I picked her. Have the rivalry with. There you go. She taught me you how to shave. You slapped the head off her. She taught you how to shave. <laughs> she did. Balls. Now we used to we used to have a little. In the kitchen, we used to have a little scrap, and then we'd obviously end up pouring her then and start crying. You know, you give that little, oh, shut up. Yeah, yeah, and then you have a soiling fight then. <laughs> Whoever made noise lost. You're actually making punch, <laughs> punch noises off sight like, <laughs> this is his punch. <laughs> no, she'd have you by the hair, and you'd be trying not to scream, like. She'd have you by the hair? Yeah, and I'd be like, fucking just stabbing her in the stomach. Oh, I love it. With a spoon. <laughs> Because <laughs> you don't have a knife. Because you chose spoons overnight. If you got to this stage, thank you. <laughs> if oh. I don't see you through the week, I'll see you through the window. And keep your head out the microwave. Oh, yeah, hello. Give the <laughs> wave. Go on, Gail Platt. <laughs> Gail Platt. Gail Platt. 